Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode 10 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. In the last episode, if you can remember that far back, we cleaned up the white I sprayed on the cockades. So, to begin this episode, I'm going to be spraying the wood colour for the wing ribs and wing spars. This will be in Tamiya XS64 Red Brown Highly Diluted. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There we have the ribs and spar done. We can pop those over there to dry. Whilst they're drying, we can get out the prop and struts and give them a varnish. I'm using my own homebrew varnish here. It's 50% clear yellow, Tamiya X24, and 50% clear orange, Tamiya X26. So let's get these cracked. All those wooden parts are now varnished and they need some time to dry so let's pop them out the way. Next up we have a respray of the white. I'm using Vallejo 70.820 this time off white which I find is far superior to Tamiya flat white so let's crack on and get these sprayed. There we have the off-white done, so we can pop those over there to dry. Next up, the engine cowl and windscreen frame, both done in Alclad Aluminium ALC 101. So let's get these done, shall we? Well, that aluminium didn't take long, did it? Next up, the rudder. We're going to be doing the same process as we did for the wings. Cleaning up the white, adding the red brown for the ribs, and then covering with white all in a wanna. And yes, I know I should have done it when I did the cockades and the wings, I forgot. Anywho, less of my cock ups and more modelling. So here we go. Thank you. 
there we have the white done and we can pop it over there to dry. Now to put the cockade masks back onto the wings, ready for the next round of spraying. So here we go with that. There we have the masks done. I even remember to do the tail. Get me. Anywho, next up we're rectifying the fingerprint on the underside of the fuselage where the desert yellow meets the aluminium. Firstly, we'll mask up and then do the desert yellow. So here we go with that. There we have that done. As we had the desert yellow out, I decided may as well do the rudder. So they all need parking and allowing to dry. Now to do some bits on the engine. The rocker rods needed gluing in place. I started with normal glue for the ones that were pretty close, but switched to super glue for some of them. So let's get that cracked. Now for a bit of talent in a bottle. Dirty Downs Rust. This is for the exhaust and I love it.
Next up, the rocker rods to paint. We're going to be using Vallejo Metallic Black 71.073. Right, that's as finished with the engine for the moment, so let's pop it to one side. Now we'll be cleaning up the tail struts to begin with, then I'm going to be measuring up the straps on the struts, try saying that quickly, as the ones on the top of the struts are not too well defined as the rest, so we're going to be replacing them with styrene. Here we go with that. And there we have them all cut out, ready to fix onto the tail strut. If you want to see them being stuck on, then please come back for the next enthralling video. Anywho, this seems like a good place to end as any. So, thank you for watching episode 10. If you want to see what happens in episode 11, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.